From the TBD studios, let's talk live with your hosts, Natasha Barrett and Melanie Hastings. Weather might be saying summer heat, but before you know it, we'll be back to fall weather. Yeah, in about a month or so. So get ahead of Mother, Na Mother Nature and help your home heating bills stay down with some small jobs that could save you big time. Bob Martinisco, or Small Job Bob, as he's known, is uh, showing us today how we can weatherize our windows. Good to do this time of the year. Hi, Bob. Hey, how you doing? Do you always travel with the window? Uh, no, uh, this is a special gift <laughs> for you guys, okay? Just We're for you. We're special. We're special. Yeah. So you so just this basically... this is your window. Yeah. yeah. You basically um, are a little bit more than a, a fix-it man. Y you work for yourself. You give mm -hmm. people tips. And I give people tips all the time. Uh, sometimes we do the job for them, of course, and other times uh, people call and say, hey, you know, at 12 o'clock on a Sunday night, uh, I had it happen. Someone says, hey, can you help me with this? And uh, I'll talk you through it. You know, it's not all about the, uh, just doing the job, making the money. Well, so. this is the time of year when we start. We need to start thinking ahead to the cooler weather months. And certainly after you spend all the money heating your home, you don't want it going out the window. So yeah, yeah. how do we seal up our windows? Well, here's the thing. Uh, this, I had a mock-up uh, window made um, with a, um, I want to turn this around here a little okay. bit. Okay. Sure. To show you that, um, what happens with a storm window is that um, it can trap uh, moisture and, um, and leaves and dirt and dust back in here. And then what happens is um, the water can get in there and it, through the winter it stays, it freezes, and it gets in the cracks and starts rotting the wood out, rotting your sill out, leading to costly repairs. Oh yeah, that's expensive. We had to do that. Yeah, it's ridiculously expensive. So what you need to do is, very simple. Um, make sure that these weep holes, these little weep holes at the bottom, they need to be cleared out. Uh, you can get a putty knife, scrape it out. You can um, uh, then get some sandpaper, uh, sand up the uh, loose areas of dirt and, and, and uh, paint, vacuum it out. You can do this on your knees too. You don't have to lean out the window or anything, so it's not dangerous. Um, How often should you be doing this? Basically when you're changing seasons? I would do spring and fall. Okay. Uh, you don't have to paint all the time, but this is like a down and dirty to get you through the winter. If you don't want to bring the painter in, if, you, if, if funds are a little tight, uh, you know, these tools, these things can cost about $30 and it could save you thousands. Keep the weep holes clean, uh, caulk the corners, and when you guys are caulking your corner of your, uh, wherever a joint is, don't ever caulk the bottom of, the, um, of this uh, uh, storm window. Just caulk the wooden sides and then cut your... I don't what know if you stuff are you it. using? What stuff do you recommend? Oh, this is an interior exterior. Uh, it's handheld. You don't have to buy a caulk gun. Um, and it's, uh, you can get it to match your uh, window color. And when you cut the tube mm -hmm. to caulk the corners, cut it on an angle. Not very, very steep. The idea is that the corner here wipes it clean, but it keeps the water out. So after you clean it up, put the caulk on, you can get any kind of paint to get you through the winter and put some paint in there to um, seal it uh, to get you through. So what happens if you put the caulk along the bottom of the window there? Oh, that's, that's the problem. And we just did a big job last week where um, um, it seals off the window. Can't uh, open anything? No, no. It seals off the bottom down here, uh -huh. fills up with grass and leaves, uh -huh. and it holds moisture through the winter, and it, and it rots out the wood. That's the problem. No one knows, no one told you when you bought your window or when you bought the uh, storm windows that um, uh, to clean out those weep holes at the bottom. They have to, you have to be able to see through them. Hmm. So you're doing more harm than good. You're thinking you're doing something great by using yeah. the caulk, but mm -hmm. you're not. Yeah. You have to know where to use it. Okay, what about that weather strip? Oh, the weather strip uh, for doors. That can um, wear out, you know, and, you know, it looks, it starts coming apart. Yeah. Or it just doesn't fit right. It doesn't fit tight that's, anymore. Yeah. That's exactly right. Uh, what you need to do is make sure there's no gaps. You should not be able to see any daylight uh, when you close your door. No daylight. Uh, and when you look in there, kind of close it. If, if, if it's not closed tightly, they have different thicknesses of weather stripping. And if you have an old metal door, a front door, or a, a garage door, mm -hmm. um, you can, uh, they have a magnet inside a vinyl accordion type um, product that you just glue on, double sided tape, uh, stick onto one side, and when you close the door, the uh, metal uh, grabs it and pulls it tight. You nice. know, because it's a magnet, it's, it's easy. 
it's easy. It, yeah. it, it sticks to itself, and I think people like that easiness of walking into yeah. Home Depot and Lowe's and getting this and doing it on their own and doing it cheaply. Yeah. Small job, Bob. Thanks for joining us. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, well, coming up. <laughs> there she is. There, there she is. We're, we're, thank you. We're talking about Dr. Laura. She's helped so many people. Uh, she's very popular. But something that she said on her show this week is really causing some problems. We'll tell you what she said that could cost her big. And if you want a small job, Bob, to answer any of your fix-it questions, just email us at letstalklive at tbd.com. We'll be right back.